My name is Fiona and I'm a speech and language therapist. We know that when you're living with long COVID, no two days can be the same. And this unpredictability can be tricky. It can have an impact on your swallowing, your voice, how much energy you have available to tackle things, and of course, how you feel within yourself. If we think about swallowing, you may already have some advice in place if you were in hospital. You may notice changes in things like your sense of taste and smell, your appetite, and also swallowing itself might feel clunky or difficult or a wee bit less coordinated. Obviously, you need to eat to keep your energy up and to help you get better. But when faced with these changes, you might find food less appealing and eating very tiring. Added to this, if you're very short of breath, swallowing can be a little uncomfortable because you have to momentarily hold your breath when swallowing food or drinks. Here are some specific and easy tips that you can try out to see if they help with your eating, drinking and swallowing. Just like you were told as a child, sit upright whenever you're eating or drinking, as this helps the swallowing mechanism work more efficiently. If you've tried drinking while lying down, you'll know this already. If shortness of breath is making things tricky, it might be helpful to take small sips of a drink rather than big gulps and smaller mouthfuls of food. And this makes it easier to swallow what's in your mouth all in one go. If you find food is sticking, think about adding some extra sauce or gravy to make foods more moist and easier to chew and swallow. Taking a small sip of water in between mouthfuls of food can also help. Some people might benefit from eating little and often. Rather than having a large meal which might look overwhelming and tire you out. Getting back into a routine of eating small amounts at regular times and perhaps gradually building this up will be important to give you energy and get your spark back. Think about your food choices as medicine and part of getting back on track. Eating little and often is also helpful with reflux or acid building up in your stomach and gullet, which comes back up into your chest. It might make a difference if you move your biggest meal to a different time of the day, when you have more energy, rather than in the evening when you may be feeling more tired. Also, having a think about the types of food that you're eating, and if you notice specific foods that trigger this reflux feeling, it might be helpful to avoid them or find alternatives. For example, grilled or baked foods instead of frying, or try herbal teas instead of strong coffee, a small square of dark chocolate instead of a very large bar of milk chocolate. If changes to your sense of taste or smell are putting you off, think about adding extra flavouring to your foods, such as pepper or lemon juice curry powder or other spices or even Worcestershire sauce. But sweet tastes might be more appealing, so indulge within reason. And if you want to avoid sugar, you could try sugar substitutes. Some people like to add a sprinkle of cinnamon or grated ginger to give a wee bit more flavour. Sometimes having a lemon-based drink before drinking can stimulate your taste buds and whet your appetite, and the extra saliva produced can help with chewing. It is important to keep your mouth clean with regular teeth brushing. If you notice a coating on your tongue, please speak to your GP or general practitioner. If your medication is getting stuck on the way down, there are a few things you could try. Have a wee drink of water to make sure your mouth and throat are less dry before you start. A 
try putting tablets in a small spoonful of smooth jam or yogurt to help them slide over more easily. But it's a good idea to check with your pharmacist first that it's okay to do this with your current medication. Some tablets are also okay to crush and mix in with jam or yogurt, but again, please check with your pharmacist first. If you continue to have swallowing problems, you might need to see a speech and language therapist regarding this. Examples include coughing whilst eating or drinking, having choking episodes, or struggling to clear food from your mouth or throat, or maybe feeling things go down the wrong way, or having recurrent chest infections with no known cause, or having difficulty chewing, or you notice a wet, gurgly voice when eating and drinking. If you're not already known to a speech and language therapist, please contact your GP who can refer you. Ongoing swallowing problems can cause chest infections, so seek advice if you're unsure. And thank you for listening.